Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. I'm here today to measure the radio fields that come out of light bulbs. And to do that we have this radio field meter. And this will record anything from 10 megahertz through to 8 gigahertz. So we're going to start off with our first light bulb. This is a conventional 40 watt light bulb. So keep an eye on the meter and let's see how our level changes. So there's absolutely no doubt that we got a surge when the light bulb turned on, but that's now passed. And we're now back down to normal levels. So light bulbs are very, very good once they've actually passed through their initial switch on process. So that's our conventional filament light bulb. We see the surge again passing through as we turn it off. So our next light bulb is going to be this LED light bulb. This was just a random LED light bulb that I purchased. And let's see what it does. So keep an eye on the meter. So we saw the level spike up. And if we continue to watch it, it should hopefully drop down, but maybe not. So let's watch it for maybe 10 or 20 seconds. Uh, one of the things I should mention about LED light bulbs is I don't particularly like them because generally the majority of them have far too much blue light in the color spectrum. And exposure to too much blue light can actually give you insomnia. It actually causes your body to get quite confused and uh, your sleep cycles may go off and you may find yourself locked into an endless cycle of insomnia. So something to be wary of is that some of these LED light bulbs are being reported to cause insomnia in people. And as we can see, we're actually getting a quite a high power level and we're actually on millivolts per meter. So that power level is about 770 millivolts per meter. And it's continuing, it's not actually dropping as time goes by. So, since we're getting a lot of field coming out of these LED light bulbs. So, the next one we've got is compact fluorescent light bulb. And these are the curly ones that you see in the shops. So, let's see what this one does. So, keep an eye on the meter. We're actually reading 88 right now. Okay, we just spiked up to 755. And with a bit of luck, as the light bulb warms up, that will come down. So, indeed, it has come down, and we're now back at our normal levels. And it seems to be somewhat better than the LED light bulb. So, I'm going to take this one out and try the next one. So, we saw it spike up again as it disconnected from the system. So, this is our last light bulb, and the the thing about this one is it's a much more powerful light bulb, it's much larger, and more importantly, it's very, very old. So let's see what a very old compact fluorescent light bulb does with radio frequency radiation. So watch the meter. Okay, so we've turned on and we're at 760 approximately for our radio frequency radiation, and that's now rapidly dropping down. So there's something about the LED light bulb that it continually puts out a lot of radio frequency energy that can be picked up by the RF meter. So let's go back to the LED light bulb and check it out. So we're going to put it back in and we should see it spike up and hopefully go back down. But, unfortunately, I think this particular LED light bulb actually gives out a lot of radio frequency. And it's just a feature of this particular light bulb. So, uh, unfortunately, you know, I don't actually recommend that people buy these LED light bulbs because there's so many problems showing up with them. And there's, if you look on the internet, you'll find quite a lot of people reporting that they've had problems around these particular LED light bulbs. Maybe that will go away in time, but uh, right now I think they're definitely a product that you should be wary of. And uh, don't take my word for it. Perform your own test and come to your own conclusions.
but I don't actually use LED light bulbs, nor do I use compact fluorescent lights. I actually use conventional filament lights that are tried and tested. Nobody is really reporting any health issues around these filament light bulbs. And they're about as close to the sun spectrum as you can get. And I actually use halogen. Halogen light bulbs are my preference, the ones that have little halogen light bulb inside and then they have a clear glass envelope around the outside for UV filtering. So they're the type, two types of bulbs that I actually use myself. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.